Hi YouTube, it's time to play Pandemic Iberia. This is a 2016 game that came out. Uh, plays almost like the original Pandemic, but there's a few different mechanics involved. It's really a go-to. I've been playing this one lately more than my original Pandemic. Let me show you how it works. There's no airplanes in this game. There's no shuttle flights like in the original Pandemic because this takes place in the mid-1800s. Instead, for an action, you can place railroad tokens, these railroad tracks in your hand, for one action to go anywhere from your city. And basically what happens when you do this, instead of one movement, two movements to go through a city, you can basically just go one solid movement to go across the train tracks to get across the board. This is very helpful when you want to get from left to right, up and down on the map. Whenever outbreaks are going on, you want to get around really quick. Early in the game, I like to lay these tracks down so that I have a good route of transportation. Another thing that's different, you can spend one of your player cards of a matching color to put down water purification tokens. That's what these look like. They're kind of like quarantine tokens. What happens is, say you put down the water tokens in this region. You're in the city of Salamanca. In this area is a region. You can put your two tokens here, and then whenever one of the infection deck cards comes up for anything in this area, like say Caceres, instead of adding a cube there, you take away a water purification token. So it kind of helps, like say you want to go over here to fight some uh, epidemics that are going to break out, leave a couple of water tokens behind where you leave, so then instead of placing cubes, you can't get back over there? No, you're not placing cubes, you're taking away these water tokens, the water purification, to make sure everybody on that side of the board is okay. Now the hospitals, they're not research stations, they're hospitals. Just like in Pandemic, I would have to discard the Salamanca city card to put a hospital in. What happens is that's where you go, of course, to pay your five uh, color of uh, any suit, any city, to begin researching that disease. You research all four, you win the game. But something different from this game now, for the hospitals, at the end of every turn, the cubes or the people start migrating to the hospital for treatment. And you know what can happen, of course, eventually there's going to be an outbreak. But instead of your traditional outbreak, you just take the cubes existing on the board and you can move them one city away. So you want to keep an eye on that. It's kind of neat though because the game gives you this card that you can put in. If you don't want to have the patients move, you just want to play more of the traditional rules, you don't have to play this card because the original game board comes with the three steps, which is do four actions, draw two cards and resolve epidemics, and then infect cities. The hand limit is always seven. But I like placing this card into the rules because why not play with the latest rules for this pandemic game? Instead, you just play with your old pandemic game. Um, something else they also included for difficulty, you can give your diseases characteristics, like the blue is now named cholera. When blue outbreaks, in addition to placing a blue cube in one city connection away, place a blue cube in each city that is two connections away if there are no cubes on it. So each of these diseases has different characteristics that happen. Uh, you could play with it or without, but it's kind of fun to put these out there and challenge you. And finally, of course, you have seven different characters, all very unique characteristics. My favorite is the rural doctor. He's the closest thing to the medic, which is my favorite character from the original game. Remember the medic, you would have three cubes in a city. You can move into that city for one, clear all of them out for two actions. One, one action takes away all three cubes. Well, instead, for the rural doctor, say you have cubes here and here, you have a decision you can make. You can move here, you could clear two cubes, or you can move a cube from here and a cube from an adjacent city. So it's able to take cubes off the board quicker. So the rural doctor is a lot of fun. We'll go over uh, some other characteristics or other mechanics in the game, but let's go ahead and start playing Pandemic Iberia. Okay, I've set up the board for Pandemic. It's just traditional rules. You draw nine cards. The first three place three cubes on each city. The next three, two cubes. And the final three, one cube. So you already have some diseases starting to pile up. And I drew the red card out of all the disease characteristics. This is for typhus. If there is more than one red cube in a city, you must spend two actions to remove a red cube from it. So I'll just put that over here as a reminder that the red cubes have a special ability. And right here in Soria, I have three cubes. So that means to remove one of these takes two actions. To remove another one would take two actions. Finally, when I'm down to just one cube, it's one action to remove one cube. So I want to kind of get there. It's kind of nice, though, because 
here in uh, Hoiska, where the nurse is starting, and I'm sorry for my Midwestern accent if I pronounce any of these cities wrong, but she's starting here so she can clear this one for one action on her turn. She also has a special token, which is kind of like the water purification, and that is a quarantine button, basically, if you want, or a, a medic patch. That means anybody, any of these cities, Pamplona, Victoria, Gastiz, Zaragoza, or Huesca, if another one is drawn, no cubes will be placed in that region. So that's pretty nice. I randomly drew my three characters, the politician, the railway man, and the nurse, and I'll get into their special abilities as we go. We don't all start in Atlanta, like in Pandemic, because there's not an Atlanta. We start in any cities of the cards that we have in our starting hand. Three cards for a three-player game. So I can choose the cities where they want to go and kind of how they want to attack. Politician starts us off because his city, Caceres, was founded the earliest date, which was founded in 34. So he's in Caceres right here. His special ability, which is pretty neat, which we're not going to do right now, but if I'm in a city matching a card, I can give this card to anybody on the board. So it's kind of like the um, researcher. Also, if there is a card in the discard pile that I want back, if I'm in that city, I could put that card out and get a new card in, or if this Caceres card is in the discard pile, I could take one of my cards and trade it out also. So he's really good about getting cards to people and making sure that you have five cards to whomever needs them to find the uh, research for the diseases. I need to move this back. All right, so here we go. So he's going to start off in Caceres. I think we're just going to start treating down here in the black area. So that's one movement, two, three, and I think a fourth movement. I'm going to go ahead and do some water pur purification. I'm going to discard Caceres, take two water pur purification tokens, and put them in this region because we already have Lisboa, Cumbra, uh, I was starting in Caceres, and uh, Badajoz. So if these cards come up again or any other cities, first we will take off the water purification before we add cubes. End of politician's turn. So we draw two cards from the player deck. Here's an event card. There's five of them spread out in our deck. This says that two players anywhere on the board can swap one of their cards from their hands. And his second card will be a yellow. All right, so he's got two yellows and a red. Two blacks over here for the nurse. Robo Man has one of each. So that was two from here. Now we go up here to the infection deck and draw two out. Blue, Ocarina at the very top. And another one will go red to Santana, which is also at the top. Something else I didn't mention, if you're in a coast city, you can spend a card, say you're down here at Gibraltar, and you want to get up here to start fighting blue. If you had a blue card in your hand, it works like a flight. Discard the blue, and you sail up here for one action. It doesn't have to match the city. As long as it's a port city in blue, a blue card I discarded, that's where I can go. Red is the same way, yellow, and black. So you can kind of move around the board that way as well. So that's the end of the politician's turn. Now we go on to the railway man. As you would expect, the railway man can build railroads. And like I said in the instructions at the beginning, I like building railroads off the top so I can get around the board easy. The railway man's special ability is he can have two tracks instead of one placed on the board and it can start from his city. So you can't put, I couldn't go like this. One and one, there's my two. It has to start from a city and go away from me. So I'll start here and then go up this way. And I'll start here and go that way. So this line is one, that line is two. You know what though, if I do that, then I can't move and take a, anything off of, uh, I'm gonna take this one back. Let's just do that. So one, my movement is two, and then remember, because of the typhus, I have to use two actions to remove a cube if there's more than one cube on a city. So that's my fourth action right there. One to lay the track, two for the move, and two to take away one cube. That's the end of the railway man. Now he gets a blue card as well as a black. So he's got two black, she has two black. We've got four black on the board, three yellows. Now two more come off the infection deck. Leon, it's a red one, and... Pamplona with the bulls. But look, I don't get to put this down because the nurse is nearby in this region, so that disease doesn't go on there. So that's the end of the railway man's turn, and now I go on to the nurse. The nurse's special ability is only this button. This patch moves wherever she goes, and you put it in a region. So again, it acts like the water purification. So we're going to go ahead and move one, two, three, four to remove a cube. So we're getting that uh, area taken care of. And now I can put this patch here or here. 
uh, or even here, I'm just going to go ahead and put it here. Right now in the early parts of the game, it, it doesn't really matter. Two cards for the nurse, a gold and a blue. Again, hand limit is seven, so we've got to keep an eye on that. And then two from the infection deck. Bilboa, Bilbo, up here, and Cartagena, which is down here. Back to the politician. All right, let's start thinking if there's anything that we can do. He's in the black and blue area. He doesn't have any black and blue cards to trade. He could go back up and get Caceres if he wanted to off the discard pile, but really nobody's close to solving anything, so we're going to leave it there. Um, now we've got the three up here still left, and again we have four of the Epidemic cards in this deck, so pretty soon we're going to get an Epidemic where we're going to have to put all of these cards back on top. So I might want to get up here and get rid of these three. That's the only three on the board. I don't have a quick way up there, however. Um, I could go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm in the city, but that won't help. Or one, two. If I had a blue card, I could put it here. You know what else I could do, though? Right here is a red city. One red city, three blue cities are in this region. I could play my Santana card right here, and it would act as water purification for that. I think I'm going to do that. One, two, hmm. Uh, well, what should I do? What should I do? I think I'll just go, I can cure this. One, two, three, discard for water purification. There's my four actions. Drawing two cards. Oh, the Epidemic. You knew it was going to come up. And Lisboa, okay? Epidemic is the exact same thing as in the regular game. We push the infection rate up one, so we're still drawing two cards at the end of each turn from the infection deck. And we're going to put three on Gijon. Three cubes up in Gijon. That's not good. I wish it wasn't a red, but it's a red. And remember, we have the Typhus, which uh, really limits the way that we can take away those red cubes. So it's not an easy go for it in the red region. Alright, so we're going to put those back on top. That's probably good enough of a shuffle. Pamplona. That one does go. Remember last time the nurse's uh, aid was up there, so that didn't go down. And Huesca. That's where I started, and unfortunately now that's a second red there, so it's going to be harder to move. Railway Man. I think he's going to lay some track first. I mean, he could go one, two, three, four. That would be smart, wouldn't it? But I'm not smart. I want to start laying some tracks so that I can get around when this game gets a little older. So that's one movement. Or you know what I could do? I could go this way. Let me put it that way so then the nurse on her turn can get up there quicker. So that was one. I'm going to go the railroad for two. I'm going to lay down some more track for three. Mm. Move there. Four. I'm just going to lay all railroad track that turn. It might come back to haunt me, but I think the railway man, I want to use his special ability early on. So he has one, two, three, four, five, so he can draw two cards, and now he'll be at his hand limit. He gets a gold and a red. Man, worst case scenario, he has two of everything, so really I don't have a direction I'm going to go yet with the railway man. Politician has two gold and a blue. And the nurse has two black and one of each of the other colors. All right. Now we're going to draw two more as Bilbo and Bilbo. So now there's two up there. And Coimbra, which is right. Oh, no, I won't place it there. I take away instead a water, oops, one of the two water purification tiles. That's the end of the railway man's turn. Now it's on to the nurse again. Okay. So she needs to start treating some red just because we don't want that outbreak. I mean, it's, it's limiting her movement, but we're going to do that. Oh, I forgot about the red up there in Dijon. Maybe the railway man should have went that way. Well, too late now. That was one movement, going the railroad tracks. Two, three. And now I can take that away because it's just a single cube for four. And I'm going to move this since Pamplona has already come up. I'll put it over here just to try and... Uh, defend anything that would happen over there. All right, drawn two. Black. Okay, hey, look, we got five blacks, so we got enough to uh, find a uh, research, but I still need to build the black hospital, so I do need one more black card. Oh, man, the epidemic, that came up really quick. Good news is we got two out of the way, and we've got a big deck. Bad news is 
There's two epidemics now. So we move the infection rate up, still at a two. Take the bottom card from the deck, and three will go into Sevilla. Take three, put it down here. Take the discard pile, which is a lot of red. The good news is we're only drawing two, but I think red is going to uh, be our problem region right now. The typhus is breaking out in the Iberian Peninsula. Bilboa Bilbo. Now that's at three. In danger of an outbreak. And we have our first outbreak. Sevilla. And just like regular pandemic, you put a black cube then on each connecting city. Take that marker to one. Once we get down to eight, it is game over. And of course, if we run out of cubes to put on the board of any color, it's game over. We lose. Well, that wasn't good, nurse. Thanks a lot. Back to the politician. Um, did we discard? What did we discard? We discarded just a red and a blue, so he doesn't have any black that he can take out and give. And he's not on a black space to be able to give. I think that we are still um, kind of stuck fighting uh, so I'm going to move one movement on the rails to get to here. One, two, three. And then knowing that this is coming up, I've got to spend a blue card and put down two water purification tiles right there so that if Gijon comes up next, it won't outbreak. I've protected Gijon. That could help me a lot. <laughs> Let's draw two cards for the politician. Blue, Braga, and another gold. Oh, look. Now we've got five golds and a sixth to build the hospital. Somehow we've got to get these people together. Uh, a good way would be maybe the railway man, if there's a way he could discard those, pot, those golds, maybe that's where he's going to do He's going to go to the gold area, discard to put down some water purification, and the politician can trade the blue to get that gold back. Uh, we can also trade cards in our hands. And this could be done at any time, and it's not an action. I think the politician is going to build the gold in his hand, and the nurse will build the hospital in a couple of turns here, somehow. <laughs> okay, so now we still have to infect. Here we go. Huesca. Oh, it doesn't go because the nurse is right there with the uh, pin. And Pamplona doesn't go either. Oh, no, it does. It's up there. Darn it. All right, Pamplona has to. On to the railway man. So the railway man, he's got some gold. He's so close to getting to Gijon, but remember, he laid down the water purification, so that's okay for now. I think he's going to use the rails, and he is going to come for one movement. Look at this. Isn't this great? This is why the railroad is great. He's going to come for one movement all the way over there for a second movement. Um, let's see. Tarragona is on the coast, so I'm going to discard Tarragona. Not that it really matters, I guess. Discard a gold, and I'm going to... I could build the hospital right now. Oh, look. I don't have enough tokens to put down water. I could just put one water down, it kind of wastes it. Either way, I want to um, get rid of my golds. Mm. I will just, uh, well, if I was to do that. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Let's see, what did I release? I released Tarragona. Or Girona, yeah, Tarragona is the way to go, okay. Let me go ahead and just, unfortunately, put one water down. Um, now, you know what? I take that back. I'm going to go ahead and put the first hospital in. Hospital's going in Zaragoza. There we go. Okay, so the hospital's been played. Now it's two movements. So now he could go... <laughs> uh, three. And he has a red... And you can put two more waters down right here. Or, no, right. Yeah, Pamplona's already come up, so I'll put it right there. Okay, that's the end of his turn. So now we bring in this new rule, which is moving patients of a color. So now we only have one hospital, and we move the closest patients to them. So there goes one cube to the hospital. Again, when we get four, we do an outbreak, but we don't add more cubes. We just spread those out to the nearest cities. So we go ahead and draw two cards now for the politician. That was a long turn. Sorry about that. Thanks for... Staying with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven cards here. And then two from up here, Coimbra, which nope, doesn't go. Instead, we take away the final water purification tile there. And Lisboa on the coast. Now it's got three. All righty then.
on to the nurse. The nurse has a gold card. But I think we were going to try to build the... Oh, no, we got the hospital already built. So one of the two of them... She's going to end her turn here at Turfle so that the politician can come and uh, maybe get that. Uh, it's not going to work out perfect, but uh, we'll, we'll make it work. So she could go one, two, three, four. She's going to... Um, hmm. One, two, three, nope, sorry, one, two, three, four, okay, so that's the end of her turn, move the blocks to the hospital, draw two cards, oh man, oh look at that, she's got five, awesome. So now the railway man, or, yeah, the politician's out because he's going to try and get some cards. Railway man on his next turn has to get down here and build a hospital. And then that'll be good. We'll have two of the uh, diseases researched. So we're off to a good start. Kind of. Or nice. Would go here, but I can take away either one of these. I'll take away this one. And the second card is Almeria. And black, uh, I haven't been paying attention to. It's starting to get pretty hairy down there. All right, back to the politician. Okay, now the politician. We are going to do the mail correspondence. Uh, well, hang on. Well, let's wait on that. Let's wait on that. Um, one. Hang on. One, two. One, two. I can take a card. That's three. I'm going to get rid of... I guess Gijon. Well, hang on. There's a lot of reds I think I've discarded. Yeah, I don't want to get rid of Gijon. I'll get rid of Jean. Because black's about ready to be solved, so I'll get rid of my black cards. That was two. This is not an action. But I can trade cards. Three. Four. We're a fourth of the way to beating the game. All right, we move uh, again. It looks like uh, this guy will go this way. Draw two cards for the politician. Blue, black. And draw two from the infection deck. Troll. 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 And uh, Karina. Nope, we take away a water purification from up there. End of the politician's turn. On to the railway man. She has five black. He needs to get to the black to build a hospital that she might be able to navigate to. And remember, he's the railway man. <laughs> So, if he was to go, he could always take a, sh a, a, a trip on a ship. Well, that's not a coast. For one move, he can come all the way over here for one. Travel for two. Yep, let's do that. He's going to go one, two. Oh, wait. Um, Gibraltar is, yes, okay. Two. That was... He's going to go to Gibraltar for three, and then place the hospital for four. Okay, now we move patients. One to there, one to there. Draw two cards for the railway man. Ooh, a second chance. Take a city card matching your current city from the discard pile. That will be good. And the second one is ooh, another blue. Hey, I'm building up my blues now. This is promising. <laughs> All right, Gijon. Oh, man. Almost outbroke, but no, I got the water purification to defend it. Good job. And Leon. It's a good thing those cards came up in that order, because if Leon came up first, it would have taken the water purification. Gijon came up second. That would have outbroke. That would have been horrible. On to the nurse now. Okay, I've got some decisions. I kind of think I need to get down here, because her hand's going to be clogged up with cards. Unfortunately, this doesn't look good. Now, the good thing is a lot of those cards have already come up. So I am going to risk it. Because also when she comes down here... Oh, I forgot to move her token last time. I guess it would have gone there. It didn't really matter. When she moves down here, she'll take her token and maybe place it somewhere to help down there with those outbreaks. But anyway, she's here. She's one away from this port city. She can go to blue, any blue. So she could go... 
one, play that for two, three, four. She wouldn't get there. Oh, no, she'd have to go there. Oh, she wouldn't make it, but at least she'd be in the neighborhood, right? One, play it to take a trip to the blue area. Two, three, four. And then I play my chip there. All right, end of her turn. Now patients move one space. One and one. You always move the closest block to the hospital first. I would have loved to have broken up this three or this three, but it's always the closest block you move into the hospital. So that's the end of those. Draw two cards, another black card, and a gold. She's at seven. She's fine. And her next turn, one, two, she'll be able to uh, find the research for the black. Two cards come out. Sand Tanner. That will take away the water purification up there. That's good. And the second one, Cartagena. Gold down there. Now we're on to the politician. He still hasn't used his power. The neat thing is, he's getting close on blue. Now the politician is way over here. Um, I think the first thing he's going to do is go ahead and get rid of these cubes. So that'll be two actions. And then um, he's got Gijon that he could drop here so there's not any outbreaks. And then he just kind of maybe works his way back to the blue to where maybe he could take out the Vigo or Lisboa or Caceres and then try and get them over to the railway man. Um, I mean, I could just trade the rail for one movement and then Salamanca, I can give a city card to another player in a city. I must be in that city matching the past card. I could give him Salamanca. He'd have four, but it really doesn't do any good because he needs five and a hospital. Whereas I need to kind of get up here and, and face this madness. So one, two actions to take away these two gold from the hospital. Cause again, every turn somebody's moving there. So there's two moves, three, and I'm going to play, I, I hate playing these reds, but I'm going to have to play another red for water purification. I'm going to put it right there. So all these regions are taken care of, but I keep playing those red cards. And look, I'm almost halfway through the deck. And granted, I'm almost halfway to winning the game, but it's a lot of cards I'm getting rid of. Okay, so now the closest one is here. So I do break up this three, that movement, that movement. Drop two cards, red, gold. So he's got one of each. And now two from the infection deck. That is Joe. That was one of our first cards. That was a three off the beginning of the game. And Soria! Soria goes right here. No water purification near it, so unfortunately that didn't happen. All right, the railway man now, he can um, kind of get the heck out of Dodge. <laughs> he could play a red card to sail up here and start fighting the red. He could lay down train tracks, not here, this is a dashed line, so he can't lay train tracks here, or here actually, from Gibraltar, so he can't do that. Uh, or he could go over here and start fighting Almeria. Has Almeria come up already? Almeria has come up. Um, Lisboa, I think all these cards have come up. There's Lisboa. Another three is Gijon, that's right there. And uh, Bilboa, Bilboa was at the beginning. So all of my threes are in the discard pile. I feel like an epidemic is coming on. I'm going to, while I'm here, well, she could get it on her next turn. Can't she? One, two, three. No, she can't. Okay. One, two, three, four. That's his turn. Okay, moving blocks. Oh, I should have taken one off from there. Oh, let's, uh, let's rewind that for a second, shall we? Boop, boop, boop. Boop. All right, what I should have done was taken these two away from the hospital first because I was there. One, two, three, four. Now I'm there. Eh, that works. Moving two. So now this guy goes here and he's the first one there. And now these guys got a long way to go. One, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four. Yeah, right there. Okay, two cards. Red, blue. So now, politician on his next turn can maybe get down to Salamanca and trade it off. All right, and then we do two infections. Valencia, Granada. Right there. 
All right, on to the nurse. The nurse is going to do some great stuff. One, two, three, four, no. One, two, three, and five. Four movement. We're halfway down to beating the game. All right, movements. One. One. That's it, because we still have two hospitals out there. And then we draw two cards for the nurse. Red and blue. Look at these blues. Okay. And then we draw two infections. Madrid. Right in the middle of the board. Quinza. Quinza? Quinza. Quinza. Back to the politician. All right. So again, I can get to Salamanca in one, two, give that to him for three. And then he's got enough. The only problem is there's no hospital for him to go to. Now he can take a city card from the discard pile. He's way down here. He can play a red, go up to Gijon. Can he get anything? He can get the port cities. He's got Vigo or Lisboa he could take. So what if I was to build the hospital myself? And then he takes a card, but then he's got to travel to one. You can lay down the tracks. Two, three. Oh, well. Eh. Let me leave that there for a second. All right, I'm going to Salamanca. I think that's the best thing to do. I'm ignoring this mess up here. One movement. Two. <sighs> Three. Hopefully I can get these cards back. Four. Well, that's hard. Okay, moving one, two, three. Okay, there's those three movements. Taking two cards. Black, which does me no good. Epidemic, I knew it was coming up. All right, there we go. Now we're drawing three cards for the rest of the game. Bottom card is Toledo. We head out to Ohio. I know that's an old joke. It's bad. Boom, right there for three. But look at this. We've got a lot of cards we get to shuffle. So that's good. This is going to be... Uh, this is going to help us maybe give us some time. Hopefully there are not a lot of reds that come up. As you notice, I'm kind of ignoring the reds just because it takes so many actions to get rid of them. Um, I just really don't know what the best strategy is. Try and keep them low oops, and waste your, waste your actions by getting rid of them or just kind of letting them be, putting down water uh, purification tokens so they don't outbreak. I mean, it kind of seems like you put down the water purification, that's one action, and you put down two tokens... That means that the, those cities around there could come up, and you should be okay. Almeria. I didn't take a cube away. <laughs> Second outbreak. Traditional outbreak. One, two. And we've got, oh, about nine black cubes left, so we're okay. Two. Coimbra. That is right here. And three. Soria. Oh, man, now it's got three. Okay, moving on to the railway, man. So what was I thinking again? I can get to Gijon. Oh, yeah, I just saw what I was going to do. Okay, here we go. I am going to play my red card first, and that takes him from this port. I'm going to leave this here because I don't have enough movement. I'm going to sail to a red city. I'm going to Gijon. My second movement is his special ability, laying two tracks, which will go from here to here, so that's two. He takes the tracks, oh darn it, <laughs> to Vigo for three, and then he's going to use this, which is not an action, but I get to get a city card out as long as I'm in that city. Well, wait a minute. He played Salamanca. So that's not an action. I get to take that card, that was one, two, three, and then I get to play four. Okay, again, so here's my movements just to show you. I was down here, and I played a red card to move to any red city. I went to Gijon. My second movement was placing two railroad tracks for a special power, which moved me down to Salamanca, which is where the hospital is. I had an action card, which, or an event card, which is not an action, 
I'm in Salamanca, I pulled the Salamanca card out that the politician used to build the hospital. Not an action. So that was one, two, three, and for my fourth action, I turn in five cards, and we are three quarters of the way to beating the game. But we're about ready to blow up all of the northern part of the Iberian Peninsula. Okay, black moves. There's one movement, two movements, three movements. The red hospital hasn't been placed out there. We've got to do some damage control. Hopefully there's a lot of red cards left in this deck. Oh, hey, look, new rails. Add two railway tokens anywhere on the board. Dashed lines are not possible. Okay, there are a couple of dashed lines on the map. That's where you cannot place railroads, um, but there's only a couple of them, like Gibraltar, this island out here, and up here. But other than that, most of the area, I think all the rest of the area are solid lines. So now we're drawing three from the uh, uh, infection deck, Cartagena. Barajo, I think that's what it's called. And not red. Troll. Troll. On to the nurse. All we need to do is worry about red. And that nothing else outbreaks. We have a lot of deck. I'd say at least maybe six turns left in the game. We're doing okay on cubes. I need to get some red cards. Now, the politician is good. Remember, he can trade in all these cards and get reds, as long as he's in the city, he can get these red uh, cards out of the deck, and there's a lot of them. Madrid, Bilboa, Bilboa, Gijon, Huesca, San Sebastian, Santander. So actually, I could probably line these up in a row. Santander, Bilboa, San Sebastian. He could probably just go in a row. Of course, he's not going to have that much movement, but he could kind of start collecting reds. The nurse could put a hospital down or even the railway man. Railway man has rails that he can play as a special ability and the event to try and get the uh, politician to where he needs to go and knock that out. But I really need to take care of my hospital so there's not overcrowding. So one, two movements from the nurse. Two, <laughs> three. I'll move to Elmeria. Four. I'll put the token there. I guess. All right, so one. Oh, I, I should have done this one first because on the rails they travel the rails too. So boom, two. That goes up there. Three. Oh boy, yellow's not looking good. Drawing two for the nurse. Gold. I need red. Red. Leon. So two, three. I got three out there. Three from the infection deck. Oh, blah, 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 blah. But I've got water purification. I'm going to take it from this side. So I still have one in that region. Sevilla is right there. And the final one is Huesca, which is right there, and I take a water purification. On the politician, all right. Where, I'm at Leon. She's got the Leon card, so I can't get that one back. He can go to Gijon, though, for one movement. Two, three, to remove the red, because remember, that's our special ability. So now he's down to one action. I think Gijon was in the discard. Gijon. All right. For my fourth action, I will trade this gold card that I don't need for the Gijon. All right, so I've got four red cards showing. We'll see what happens. Uh, oops, this one goes here. This one goes here. That one goes there. And then we go another special event and a blue. This is the telegraph message. One player may give one or two city cards to another player anywhere on the board. Save that until somebody has two blues. And then we can, or reds. She's got two reds. Oh, man. Should we just go ahead and load up the politician right now? Let's wait and see how this all plays out. Because I'm not at my hand limit. I'm going to wait and see the turn order and how everything goes. Okay, but we still have to do this. Three. Valencia. Gets one. Gijon takes away the water purification from up there. And Leon takes away the water purification from there. This region now is in danger. On to the railway man. Okay, I can build a bunch of rails. So I can basically build a network for the politician to get around, is what I could do. But I'm at a hospital. I should take this opportunity to clear the hospital. 
Um, let's just do that. One, two. He'll take three. Or, no. Th three. Four. That's all my movements. Nope. Take that back. Three. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to waste that, though. But if he can get to Volodad, he can take it back. No. Four. Right here. One. Boom, boom. That's done. And I've got the new Rails token. I can add them anywhere on the board. It doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm going to put it here. And uh, San Sebastian's in the discard, so I'm going to put it here. So the politician has pretty easy movement now to get from city to city to try and use his special ability to take those cards out of the discard pile. Okay, so that's the end of that. Let's move. One, two. Forgot about that. We've got our third outbreak, overcrowding at this hospital. We move all the cubes out to one city away. So I'm just going to do that. Um, yep. Did I move blue? I don't think I moved blue. Uh, did I move blue? I can't remember. Let's just move blue. Okay. Draw two cards. Gold. Red! Okay. So he's got two reds. She's got two reds. He's got one. I've got this that can trade him. Three. Karina. Okay, we're good. Santana takes away this. Water purification. And Pamplona takes away this water purification. Okay, well, I need to start purifying some water here. The nurse, way down here. <laughs> oh man, outbreaks are okay. I, I can, I, I, I'll be, I'll be okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and take away one of these, one movement. I'm gonna pay um, a blue card. Hmm. Or should I pay a red card? that the politician could get back in the discard pile. Uh, I'll pay Leon, and I will travel to Bilboa Bilboa. So that was one, two, three, four. Okay. I don't know if that's the smartest move, but we'll see in the end. Moving black, moving gold, moving blue. Okay. Draw two cards. Blue. Red. Okay, and then we draw three. Granada, one. Oop, this has to move with her, and it's going to go there. So Granada, that's not good. <laughs> Madrid, right in the middle of the map. And the third one is Lisboa, which outbreaks. So boom, boom, boom. And we're down to four. All right. Let's knock this out, politician. What are you going to do? You can get your five, I think, probably this turn. Uh, or do you want to? I'm in Gijon. Maybe I could set up the nurse. No, she won't have enough. Because, see, I could, with my move here, I could give to her, give those to her. And then in his turn... Uh, he wouldn't be able to, to build a, uh, a hospital, though. All right, well, here's this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something. How many turns do I have left? One, two, three turns left. Well, four, I guess, technically. So one, two, three. So he's got to be able to place it. Oh, man, he's got to be able to place it. Okay, well, where can I go? Leon is out there. Madrid's too far away. Bilboa, Bilboa's out there. Race is not good. That's out there. Santana. Okay, so these red cards are close to me. Again, the politician's yellow. I'm in Gijon. I have one red. I need to be able to have five reds on my turn, and one of these two has to be able to build a hospital on their turn. So, 
What I'm going to do is, let's see, Voladad. Can he get to Voladad? Yeah, he could get to Voladad. Or he can get there. She's close to Pamplona and Soria. Pamplona, though, is not on the railroad tracks. Voladad is on the railroad tracks, so he's going to build um, that. Okay, so I'm going to do one movement to Leon. Two movements to trade for the Leon card. That's two. Three to move there. And then four to trade for that card. So he's got three plus the telegraph. So the telegraph I'm going to use, because that's not an action, and I can take two cards from anybody or give two cards. I've got my five. Okay? End of my turn. I think we've got it. Moving cubes. Probably move this one here. Uh, this one comes down here. And this one comes here. Draw two cards. One epidemic. And, of course, I get a Burgess. Burgess. All right. I thought we did all the... I guess not. One, two, three. Yep. Okay. Going out to three. Please don't be red. Please be in the middle of nowhere. Girona, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. Girona, Girona, way over there. Whatever we do, let's not outbreak. I have one, two, three outbreaks I can uh, afford, and then the game is over. If not, I think the railway man on this turn is going to get down to Validad, build a hospital. The next turn, the nurse is going to fight some stuff, and then the last turn, the politician will get down there and uh, turn in his cards. Three. Cartagena. Okay, it's now at three yellows. Sevilla. Right down there. And Leon. Oh, no. Water. Okay. Whew. Railway man. So there is railway to get everywhere he needs to go. <coughs> um, move to one. We, we're going tracks. So that's one. He's going to turn in his bullet dot for two. Build a hospital right there. And his third move will be to purify some water here, because that's all red. And his fourth move is going to be to purify some water here, because there is Yellow City in that region. So those regions are taken care of. Let's move some black blocks. One. <laughs> Two. Um, three, four. Drawing two cards. Gold, gold. Drawing three. Granada. Now it's got three. Madrid takes away the water purification. Lisboa. Outbreaks again. Oh, no, and now all the cities, almost all the cities was connected to have won. Okay. Now we're down to five. We've got two more outbreaks we can afford until it's game over. But I think we'll be all right. Nurse's turn. She's just going to fight some stuff. Um, it'd be nice if she could get to Soria, which is going to outbreak. So one movement, two, three. And she's got a gold to put down some water right here because that's a gold city, so that's a region. So those cities are kind of taken care of. Oh, yeah, and then she gets to move this with her. Um, and she'll put that down there. Moving blocks. Okay, black now has three. Blue now has three. Gold now has three. Red has two. Draw two cards. One, two. Science Triumph. Remove one cube from each region. I'm going to do that right now. Even though it really doesn't matter. I'm going to do that before I go into the infection. Um, all right, Lisboa has already come up, so I can wor don't have to worry about that. Madrid's come up. Um, Granada has come up. Leon. Cartagena. So all those have come up except for Gibraltar. I don't even remember if there's Gibraltar out there. I'm going to take one out of that one. One out of that one. Basically, I'm just going to clear them from the hospitals, I guess. One out of that one. 
And uh, up here, it doesn't matter. I'll just take one out of that one. Okay. And then three, Girona, Pamplona, which will take away water, and Hoiska, which is right there, so it will take a block. All right, this is the final move because I have no more cards to draw. It's okay, though, because he gets to go to the hospital for one movement and turn in the five red cards for his second action. Finding a disease that he's going to be able to research now for red. I did it on the last turn. If I wasn't able to solve it there, I'd have no more cards to draw. The politician, the railway man, and the nurse would have all lost the game. And, and we were on the brink. We were one, two, three, basically, outbreaks from, from losing. This just got its third, but the hospitals were starting to get overrun. Um, we weren't really in danger of losing our blocks off to the side here. Definite danger of losing our cards and the outbreak meter. But what, what a wonderful game. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Pandemic Iberia. Like, hopefully you just saw just different enough. The extra mechanics that are added to this game with the railways and the water tokens, um, being able to sail. Uh, hopefully it adds just enough if you enjoy Pandemic. It adds some more mechanics to the game. It's a lot of fun. Also, of course, the cubes being able to move on the board can help and hurt you. You've got to keep an eye on the hospitals. Adding that the diseases have their own characteristics also is a lot of fun. So I'm so glad you're able to see that. I, looking back, I think I did it all correctly. But not so fast. I did have some errors to pass along. Uh, the railway man at the very beginning of the game took five actions instead of four. Also, when I took cards for the railway man, I accidentally gave them to the politician. Later in the game, uh, when I had the remove one cube from each region, I removed two from the red, none from the gold, um, and I believe the nurse also had a little bit of an error. All of them very innocent, and in the end really didn't play that big of a factor into winning the game. At least, uh, that's my story. <laughs> one last thing I wanted to show you about this Pandemic Iberia. I kind of stumbled upon this Plano case. I bought it for uh, Clank, and it was not uh, big enough to hold all my Clank pieces. It is the Plano 3449. That's the model number, if you can read it backwards. 3449. And as you can see, it fits all of the pieces, the cubes, the microscopes, and the hospitals. And over here are the tokens. The, uh, the nurse token I just used, water purification, the railroad tracks, as well as the outbreak and um, infection level markers. That all fits in there nice and neat. And it fits in the original box. You don't have to take out the cardboard cutout. I've got the cards, decks split into two, the player pawns put in the middle to kind of separate them. Kind of neat also, we got a, um, a booklet that shows some of the uh, composite art that they were thinking of when they were putting together the game. So that goes on top of that. The instruction book kind of keeps it all nice and flat. Fold up the board, put it on there, and there you go. You can keep everything in the box with that Plano box that I got at Walmart for all of like $2.50. What a wonderful game. I strongly recommend Pandemic Iberia. Head out and get it right now. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe, and we'll have more videos that you can play solo on this channel.